does that mean and how was that done? Well, uh, thank you very much um, uh, for this opportunity. We are quite happy as the city of Fegurulani to have uh, received the clean audit from the Auditor General. Uh, it was presented today to in council. And um, we, well, we can only say that uh, it, uh, it's a culmination of the hard work that uh, we have uh, undertaken since we took office in 2016. Uh, where we are now, uh, we are certain that um, we've been able to make uh, a, a very good uh, progress with regard to issues of clean audit. The, that Auditor General report, if we go back a few years, 2015-16 for Ekurleni Municipality, which said, and I'm quoting here from Corruption Watch, did not take reasonable steps to prevent irregular expenditure while the accounting officer did not exercise adequate oversight or responsibility regarding compliance with laws and regulations. What's happened between that kind of feedback until now? Well, uh, firstly, that is out of our term of office, and secondly... We report to the Auditor General, not to the, to the body that you've referred to. So I would not want to venture into that. It was before our time. And, but um, where we are, we've been able to put systems in place to make sure that the city is able to, to, to correct all the wrongs of, of the past. So, uh, Mr. Mastino, my question was then, how did the city of Ekuruleni go from that to where you are now? What measures did you put in place? What accounting measures, what standards were put in place to ensure that you've gotten the clean audits now? Yes, uh, firstly, we were able to build the internal capacity. We have not less than seven CAs uh, that we have recruited into the city, but also our systems that uh, we've put a, a operation clean, uh, clean audit uh, uh, strategy, which we've been working on the past three years, as you know, that we got unqualified uh, audit opinions. Uh, all these years, uh, we've always uh, had uh, uh, zero uh, uh, fruitless, irregular and wasteful expenditure as a build up to this moment that we are, we are at now. So. It's been a culmination of good work, but also the oversight uh, in council has been very strict, and I think that it has helped us to really make sure that we achieve our objective of a clean audit. All right, so what's the impact of COVID-19 been on the city's finances, and where have you had to pivot, perhaps, and reallocate funds? If you can just repeat that question, there was a hiccup. What's the impact of COVID-19 on the city of Ekurileni's finances and where have you had to pivot perhaps and make changes to your finances? No, th thank you very much. Obviously, the, the, the COVID has affected us negatively. We lost as a seat about 1.6 billion, so meaning that we had to cut down uh, on our capex uh, uh, expenditure. We were ramping up our capital expenditure to about 7.4 billion, so we had to cut it down to about uh, 4.9 billion now uh, in order for us to make sure that um, we slow down on the massive infrastructure projects that, uh, that, that uh, w w we've been rolling over time. And I'm quite, I'm quite confident that we'll be able to complete all those projects that uh, had to be delayed due to the impact of COVID in our, in our system. All right, so National Treasury declined to roll over on 100 million rand that was unused in the 2018-19 financial year. This is an issue that comes up uh, when we come to financial year ends, that a lot of municipalities don't spend all their funds uh, and it has to roll over. What's your state of unused funds now? Well, uh, uh, in this uh, year that is being audited now, we have been given an additional 300 million rand because uh, at that time, we're depending on external capacity to uh, execute our projects. But secondly, there was the issue of uh, pl a planning, as you know, that uh, before you can roll out human settlement, you need, uh, you need uh, uh, something like water use licenses, like EIAs and other different studies. So because we're relying on external service providers, we, we delayed in that particular year, but we have since improved. Hence, uh, the, the National Department of Human Settlement has now given us additional 300 million to make sure that we accelerate our human settlement. As I'm talking to you, we are just below 50,000 houses that have been built over the past uh, five years by our administration, and we are convinced that by the time we leave office, the numbers would have looked better. But more interesting is that the infrastructure build program, we can now build an additional 210,000 houses as a result of bulk infrastructure that we have invested uh, 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 during this period. So I'm quite happy that uh, working together with the province and national you should be able to spend all the monies uh, of government um, mm -hmm. as, 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 as allocated to us as a municipality. Mzondile Masina, the Mayor of Ekrileni, thanks so much for your time on SABC News this afternoon.
It's time for a short.